There are basic tools in Microsoft PowerPoint which we need to acquaint ourselves with. These tools are the navigation tools and the presentation view tools. The navigation tools work hand in hand. The scroll bar at the right hand side and the scroll bar at the left hand side, they work hand in hand. Now we are actually, uh, the first slide is actually being highlighted because we are viewing our first slide. Now I want you to pay attention as I move over to the next slide. If I click on this next slide, you'll find out that this navigation tool, this scroll bar here will move to the next uh, portion. Now let me click at the next slide. Now as I click at the next slide, you find out that this there's a change in this place. It was actually in this place before, but now it has moved to the next portion. If I click on the slide 3, it will move downward. If I click on the slide 4, it also go downward. If I move down and say I go to the slide 7, it will move to the last part of the water of the scroll bar. Now this slide, uh, this uh, navigation tools here and the ones at the right hand side, they work hand in hand just like I've explained before. Now we can also navigate our slide by using the arrows here or the arrows at this word corner. I use the arrows down here. As I navigate, you find out that I'm changing this slide by slide. I can also do that by using this uh, fast track buttons here. This one moves up to the next slide. This one down to the next slide. The thing that happens here also happens in this place. As I'm moving to the next slide, uh, the next slide is being highlighted in this place. As I'm moving down to the next slide, the next slide is being highlighted in this. As I move down, the next slide is being highlighted and also what the last slide. The navigation tools work hand in hand. They work hand in hand. Now the next tool we are going to talk about is the presentation view tools. The presentation view tools can be found under the view tab and these are the presentation view tool. This we are actually viewing a normal uh, this is the normal view, this is the slides daughter view, this is the note page view, the slide show view. You have the slide master view, handout view, and the notes master view. Now these tools can also be found under this place. We have the normal view, we have the slide sorter view, and we have the slide show view. Now these views are the ones that we can find under this place. Now we can also get our slide master view, our handout master view, and also the notes master view by holding down shift on our keyboard and clicking on any of these view options. If I hold down my shift on the keyboard, on the keyboard and click on this normal view, it is going to open the master view, the slide master view. Holding down my shift key on my keyboard and clicking on it is going to open what the handout master view. And also holding down this is going to bring up what the slide show view, but also in a notes master. And this is how we can uh, we can change the presentation view of our slide. Now uh, click uh, this is the view in which we are using now. Uh, this is normal view. The slide sorter view arranges our slide in a different pattern. It sorts our slide uh, something like in a line format. Now if I click on this, you find out that our slide has been sorted out in a line format. If we had up to 20 slides or maybe 100 slides, it's going to sort the slides in what line format. And this is basically how our slide sorter view is. This is the pattern in which our slide sorter view sorts our slide. And the next view we have there is the slide show. If I click on this slide show, it's going to sh give us a preview of how our slide will look when it is being presented. Either from the, maybe we are presenting it from, through a projector or maybe from uh, an online screen. This is how our slide show view is going to appear. We can change the slide, we can change the number as we are changing it. This is how the slide is going to uh, appear. This is basically how the slide is going to appear. Now to exit this page, you will just hit your escape key on your keyboard and to exit the page. Now this is, I've explained our normal view. This is normal view. The way uh, this is the normal view in which our, we are going to see our slide. This is the default view. Whenever we open Microsoft PowerPoint, this is the default view that comes with it. Then other views that we have down here, we have the slide master view. I will hold down my shift key and click on this normal view, and it's going to open the slide master view. And this is the slide master view. Whatever you do to this slide master view, this number one here, any change I make to this my slide master view. In this way, the first slide I have here is going to do what affects all the slides I have in my document. Now, I'll go back to the normal view. I want you to pay attention to what I want to do. Now, I want to change the theme for this my slide one. I want to change the theme for my slide one. So, I'm going to see. Let me see the, the theme I want to use for my slide one. Now, let's say I applied this theme to my slide one. Now, this theme has been applied to my slide one, but other slides have this background under it. The slides have the background under it. Now in order to make sure, in order to ensure that all my themes or all my slides have the same background, have the same look or have the same theme property, the way I'm going to do it is by moving over, holding down my control, my shift key and clicking on this normal view or 
I move over it under my view tab, then I click on what slide master view. Whichever way I do it is going to give me the same option. So I'll come down and click on the first slide here. And when I click on the first slide here, I can click on this to edit it. This is actually an image which, which I inserted there, and this is also an image that was inserted there. So I'll quickly undo that change. I'll come back and it's go back to my team, the current team in which I use. I actually use Flow. Now, anything that I apply to this will be applied to the whole teams, the whole slides that I have in my presentation. Whatever changes you make to this, your master title, uh, your master title, sli your master title sli uh, style will be will appear, will be applied to all the word slides you have in your document. Now I'm going to close this, and you can see that all my slides have the same words, uh, have the same background, have the same, uh, uh, have the same theme. They have the same theme and they also have the same uh, background that I have in this place. Now I can move, if I don't want this my background to be white, if I don't want it to be plain white, I can also go back to my slide master view. I hold down my shift key and click on this normal view to open the slide master view. Then you must, anything that you want to make must be done on this master style, on this master title. Any change you want to make must be done on this master title which is numbered 1. So I will come down here and click on the background. If I want to change the background of my slide, I will click on format background. I want to fill my background with a gradient. You can fill it with the solid fill or you can fill it with the gradient fill or you can fill it with a picture or anything depending on what you want to uh, use to fill your uh, background. So I'm going to use, look for a solid color, a fine color to fill my background. think I kind of uh, this is too dark you choose colors that will suit what you have in mind I think I'm gonna do this then after doing this then I will click on apply to all when I click on apply to all it will be applied to all the slides in my words presentation if I close the master view you'll find out that all my slides will have the same background colors all my slides will have the same background colors and that one is for the master view then other views will have they'll have the handout master view uh, the, I can go to my handout master view by clicking on this handout master view or holding down my shift key and click on this slide sorter view and this is my handout master view now this shows the way it is going to appear if it is something like a handout this is basically the way it's going to appear if it's something like a handout. Handout for something like a Microsoft Word or for other Office programs. So I'll quickly close this. The other view we have there is also for the Note Master. I'll click on this and open us what the Note Master. Yeah, this is our slide. And we can add notes to this word slide. Just like the name implies, we'll add notes to this slide. Type something down here. Add a note to it. Add a note to it. Whichever note you want to add to it is. Uh, Whatever notes that I want to do will also be what applied to all the slides. If I, if I can show you here, we have something like notes down here. This is where we we'll type in our notes at this corner. Type in the notes for this, uh, maybe for your, maybe for this particular slide. You type in the notes. If this one is for the first, for the uh, seventh slide, you can go down to the next one. Add a note. Maybe you want them to note something. Come down here also, click on add notes, add notes to the particular word slide. Or you can go to the slide, uh, the, the notes master, uh, the note master view, go to the note master view and add the notes that you can apply to all the slides. So I'll quickly undo those changes in which I've made. I'll quickly undo those changes, remove the notes in which I've added to those slides. And that's all. Now that is basically how we can navigate our site and also to change the slide presentation. Now one other thing I want us to pay a closer attention to is this our custom status bar. This our status bar helps us. Uh, it shows the status of basic things in our Microsoft PowerPoint. Now the first one shows us the name or the slide number. It gives us the slide number. This one shows us the theme name, the theme in which we are actually using. Now the current thing that we are using now is the float theme, and this one is for the spell check. So it's called the spell check. If I click on this, it shows that the spelling check is complete. That means there is no uh, spelling and grammar errors in our presentation. Then down here we we'll have the languages, and this one is for the languages. This is the current language which I'm using. We can also customize the way our status bar looks by right-clicking on any aspect of our custom uh, status bar. Then these are the options that we we'll have for our status bar. Our indicator, which shows we are, we are slide seven of seven, is showing down here. Our current theme, which shows we are using the flow theme, is showing down here. This is a spell check, which shows that we have no errors. And this is the language uh, bar, 
this is a language shows you the language which we are currently using then the next one will have the signatures all these ones are currently enabled in our status bar so we are going to uh, view we are going to take a look at all all these other options in our subsequent videos then we have our view shortcuts shows down here then our zoom this our zoom is what we have down here which shows that we are actually on a 62 percent zoom level then this is our zoom slider we can change the way our zoom slider is and the next one we have here we have zoom to fit and that's what we are going to take a look now this is our zoom slider which shows uh, if i click on this to open our zoom dialog box now you can choose a different zoom level the percentage you want you want your document to appear or you can come down here and slide and toggle between what this slider you can toggle between this slider and choose a different zoom level either use the plus minus sign or use the word plus sign then this one if i click on this um uh, uh, this icon down here it's going to fit this current slide to the current what window if i click on it it has fitted our slide to our current video now these are basic tools in which we can go through and we, and we know that we are going to be using these tools more frequently so it is better you do what acquaint yourself with these tools to enable us to work better with microsoft powerpoint